yes, uh, Terry just talked about what it all is. Now we're going to see uh, w actually how it works and how this really starts to change your workflow. Okay, so here I am on creativecloud.com. And notice I'm in the download center. So I can go to any one of these apps and download them, or even say sort by popular, which according to Adobe, everything's popular. I thought that was kind of funny. So, but nonetheless, I can check out any one of these uh, if I'm interested in uh, anyone. In fact, what I'll do is I can sort by graphic design or by web. Let's take graphic design. I can check out Muse, recent update to it, as I pointed out. Uh, selecting that. Web design, what did that say? A web design without writing code? That's crazy. Can't do that. Blood, sweat, and code is what it takes to make a website, you thought. Now, you'll download it, and what happens is it will install this app right here and will give you a progress bar for Muse, all right? I obviously didn't click on it, but I will get the latest version. And while it's downloading, you might be, well, how do I use it? That's your next question. So we have the Learn section. As Terry mentioned, we can go in here and you can see plenty of tutorials and training that we have available to you that are actually free and open to everyone. So we're talking videos from Total Training, uh, lynda.com, various partners we have that we give to you guys for free. Because we obviously flood you with plenty of apps that are available at your fingertips. All right, so that's the learn section. Uh, it will download, as you can see right over here. It'll download, I can install other apps as well. I can go to the files tab right here. And I can actually sync assets to Creative Cloud. So I'm going to select creativecloud.com, opens up a browser, see my various files. These are all my files. And um, all I really need to do is take any one of these. Let's take a couple of them. Sure, why not? Dragging them into the browser. Those happen to be two PSD files. All right. I can, and this is an update coming to you guys. A lot of you have early access to it, and we can give you early access if you're interested. Uh, just ping us uh, on Twitter. But nonetheless, we're going to have a folder that you can sync to as well. So again, there will be an update to Creative Cloud desktop app. I now have this folder that it makes on my desktop. And anything I want to sync to Creative Cloud will be a matter of clicking and dragging into that folder. And as you can see, we get that little sync icon right there. All right, so that's what is going on. Uh, it will sync to Creative Cloud. And uh, as you can see, there it is, the file. All right, so it is working. You guys can see that it's a PSD. Let's take a step back because there's more than just PSDs in here. This one happens to have 3D in it. I threw everything at Creative Cloud, to be honest with you. Here's a folder jumping in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is that? I don't know, maybe an InDesign file, guys. Yes, that's right. If I could zoom in closer, I would. But look, I didn't, I didn't output a PDF. I didn't output a PDF. I didn't put it in an email. And I didn't send it to the client saying, hey, please tell me what you think, blah, blah, blah. It's right in here. Anyone can page through it. Anyone I send this link to. Just a couple pages here. But check this out. I can also share this as well. So right up here. Hey, let's send this link to the client. All right? So again, make it public. Send it to Jason. That's his real email address at adobe.com. There we are. Somebody, maybe somebody at Adobe gets that email. I don't know. But overall, they can access that file. Uh, and it could be any one of these. It could be this file, for instance. Sending it, all right? And they could, it doesn't matter. They don't need, they don't need anything to open it. Because what happens when you send something by email and they get a ping file and your client's like, I don't have the ping viewer 2.0. Not that they need it. I, that doesn't even exist, by the way. But they'll ask you those, so how do, what do I do with these files? How do I open them? And everything's scrunched down because I opened it up in a browser. It's just the PSD. It's just the Illustrator file. In fact, we can start to play with it some more as we have access to layers when it comes to Photoshop files, all right? So you can see, yes, name your layers. <laughs> Don't do like I do. Not even for my demo assets did I name those layers. Shame on me. Turning on the overlay layer, you can see how it brings that pop up. So I'm giving them an idea of what that overlay looks like, all right? So 
again, this is how you start to sort of change the way you work. Even going back in here to this file, as I, you know, turn that on and off, going beyond just sending them the file, what are they going to do, call you up? No, 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 I'm like, what file are you talking about? I don't know, doesn't matter, because right in here we have activity. So I can say, hey, think of this awesome design. That's what I do, and I usually misspell words. There we go. Leading question, click, added that comment. That comment stays with that file, doesn't get lost in the email. Um, when Jason at adobe.com gets the file, he can come in here and say, ch you know, do whatever, change the font for the header, all right? Again, that comment is not lost in my email somewhere. Stays with the file, all right? We got more coming up. Check it. Fonts. All right, browse fonts on Typekit. Let's take a look. Ah, with Creative Cloud, I get access to all these fonts. But what do we have over here? What did we add? Oh, look. Web use. Oh, desktop use for all of these fonts. And keep in mind, I customized the text here. But I can sort by script fonts, for instance. All right? I can see the thick fonts if I want to, sorting down to these fonts. And I kind of like them. Sure, let's do it. In fact, let's just use this font, selecting carry pro wide, sync selected font. Okay, so there it is. I could pick some more. I can search, for instance. I could search on Comic Sans. No, it's actually not there, but there is a serif version, which I thought was kind of funny. You guys dare me? You dare me? Anyways, so there's Comic Serif Pro available as well. All right, that's not so bad. That's a good All right, that's not so bad. Behind the scenes, while we were talking, what happened? I know you didn't, might not have seen it earlier, but I've just synced that font uh, to my desktop, okay? So again, I have that ability to honestly install all the fonts if I want to, pick the font you want to use, and go ahead and use it, and it will sync directly to your desktop. All right, so I picked a couple. I'm going to use the Carry Pro Wide. Let's do that for this PSD file. I'll open it up, okay, let's take a look. Again, boring font, Jason said change it, coming into that font, taking a look right up here, hey, RI, carry pro, and now I was able to put, change it to kind of an uglier font, I don't know, do you guys think it's cool? Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. the honesty, yeah. that was great guys, thank you, <laughs> all right. Okay, so the design is getting worse. Again, I'm going to fix that, because check this out. I saved the file. Keep in mind, this is in my Creative Cloud folder. We'll go back out to that file. In fact, I'll just hit a refresh. And there it is, updated. What did I, what did I not have to do, guys? I have to send an email or put it on a server or, I don't know, just print it out and send it by mail. I don't have to do that stuff. It updates automatically. And again, Jason can still comment on it saying, that's horrible. <laughs> Change it back to the previous version. Check this out, guys. Well, you know what? I think I can do that. Seven minutes ago, click. Oh, look, there it is. Previous version, that versioning. Awesome. That is cool. I'm getting a little carried away, but definitely cool, right? Okay, so that's my design, and I can send this to anybody with an email address, and they can view it on their mobile device, provide comments, good to go. I also wanted to show you Behance as well. Check this out. Uh, running on my desktop, I could, again, get this Behance feed and honestly get awfully jealous by a lot of this stuff, and I can also do a search. So Alex, uh, Alex Trochet, might be saying his name wrong, is going to be here later after the break showing some of his cool stuff. So again, sorting by graphic design, whatever I want. I can see his work. Again, either get inspired or, or really jealous and depressed in this case. But you know what? I'm a good guy. I'll appreciate that. Appreciating his work predates the Facebook like button, I guess. So nonetheless, I can appreciate that work. Get inspired, get jealous, all that stuff. But the cool thing is, is I can actually post to Behance as well. Okay, because that's what I'd want to do. I could post to Behance, and I can click that button, or what I can do is directly from Photoshop, 
I can share on Behance from Photoshop. Okay, this could be an illustrator. Share on Behance, takes that image. Again, it's pretty complex, it's 3D, there's actually some other things in there. Prepares my image, and now I can post. Now, I've already, I've already uh, posted this a couple times. That's why I'm choosing existing, because this is a revision to an existing one. Is this one better? that. We'll do hashtag create now. So you will see this. I'm posting this to a couple social networks. And uh, so I encourage you to check it out. Again, sharing it. It posts to Behance, to my social networks. In fact, as I jump in here to look at my work in progress, here's this piece. Again, I just made it last night. Viewing this work in progress, there it is, this is number three, not that much different from number two, but look at this, guys. I posted this last night. Again, this isn't like posting a video to YouTube and reading the comments. I just feeling terrible, like, I need to cut my hair, it's horrible. What am I, what do I, why do I talk with my hands? All that stuff, it's, look at this, clean up the edges, and it is, it's a little dirty right here. Um, somebody mentions the top of this N looks like an H. <coughs> Valid feedback from a design community, 1.5 million in fact. And again, that's my revision that I've posted, cleaned it up, got rid of those lines, best one so far. Oh, that's nice. See how Jason, oh, oh, feel the love, feel the love. A little, okay, okay, little enough, love. enough, enough, that's good. That's Are you good. sure? Yeah, that's good. No, okay. <laughs> All right. So again, I want to tap into creatives when it's midnight at my house and I'm posting and I've, I got feedback like right away with the previous design. At literally midnight last night, people in Europe helping me out and it was great. I can sure enough send my profile, if you will, to the client, this URL, but I want to go beyond this, okay? This is fine, but I want to create something unique. In fact, you have access to ProSite as well. This is the easiest way to create a website on the web. See ProSite come up, taking all my projects, all my work experience, you can see it right here. Again, picking the layout, I won't get into this, but I can adjust the layout. I can start to adjust the design. And as this loads, as I roll over some of this content, you'll see things light up. That's just all the stuff I can change. So I can jump in, I can change you know, the text, for instance, since God, designer not for hire, since I work for Adobe and I don't want anybody thinking anything weird, I'm not looking for a job. Again, it's just doing that. Adding pages, customizing the URL. In fact, I'll just save this and upload it. And you'll see it here in a second. Um, adding your own CSS as well. Let's, in fact, view, because what else did I do? Hey, forget having yourname.prosite.com, you could have your own custom URL. And no one's the wiser as to whether this is a, a Behance Pro Site or not. Again, you can see kind of some of the stuff going on, jumping in there for that particular project. You can see that content, right? <laughs>